Ant poison, commonly referred to as ant bait, operates through a multifaceted mechanism to eradicate ant colonies. This process begins with the formulation of the poison itself, which typically combines a slow-acting toxicant with an attractant food substance. The goal is to create a bait that is enticing enough for ants to consume and carry back to their nest, ensuring the toxin can be distributed widely within the colony. The attractant in ant bait is often a carbohydrate or protein-based food that appeals to the feeding preferences of the specific ant species targeted. For example, sugar-based attractants lure sugar-feeding ants, while protein-based attractants appeal to those seeking proteins. The attractant ensures that the worker ants, which are responsible for foraging and gathering food, are drawn to the bait. Once the workers locate the bait, they ingest it and transport it back to the nest, where it is shared with other members of the colony, including larvae and the queen. The toxicant in the bait is carefully chosen to be slow-acting, allowing ample time for the worker ants to return to the nest and distribute the poison before succumbing to its effects. Common toxicants used in ant baits include boric acid, fipronil, hydromethylmin, and abamectin. Each of these substances has a distinct mode of action that interferes with the biological functions of the ants. Boric acid, for instance, is a stomach poison that disrupts the digestive system of ants. When ingested, it interferes with their ability to absorb nutrients, leading to starvation and eventual death. The slow action of boric acid ensures that the affected ants have enough time to share the poisoned food with other colony members. Additionally, boric acid can also damage the exoskeleton of ants when they come into contact with it, further contributing to their demise. Fipronil works differently by targeting the central nervous system of ants. It blocks the gabagated chloride channels in their nerve cells, causing hypoexcitation of the nerves and muscles. This leads to a loss of coordination, paralysis, and eventually death. The advantage of using fipronil lies in its potency. Even small amounts can be lethal to ants. Its delayed action ensures that poisoned ants continue to perform their foraging and food sharing duties, maximizing the spread of the toxicant throughout the colony. Hydromethylmin operates as a metabolic inhibitor. It disrupts the production of energy within the cells of ants by inhibiting mitochondrial function. This inhibition prevents the conversion of food into usable energy, leading to lethargy, cessation of activity, and ultimately death. Like other slow-acting toxicants, hydromethylmin allows the worker ants to distribute the bait before they are incapacitated. Abamectin, a natural product derived from soil bacteria, acts as a neurotoxin. It binds to glutamate-gated chloride channels in nerve and muscle cells, causing an influx of chloride ions that leads to paralysis and death. The action of abamectin is sufficiently delayed to permit the thorough dissemination of the poison within the ant colony. Once the poisoned bait is brought back to the nest, trophallaxis ensures that it is distributed to a significant portion of the colony. The larvae, which are the only members capable of digesting solid food, convert it into a liquid form that can be shared with adult ants. This continuous exchange of food within the colony amplifies the reach of the toxicant, ensuring that even ants that do not forage outside the nest are exposed to the poison. To enhance the success of ant baiting programs, it is often advisable to combine them with other control measures. These may include physical barriers to prevent ant entry, sanitation practices to eliminate alternative food sources, and targeted use of insecticidal sprays to address immediate infestations. By adopting a comprehensive approach to ant management, it is possible to achieve more sustainable and long-lasting control of ant populations. Ant poison works through a complex interplay of attractants and slow-acting toxicants that exploit the social behavior of ants. By leveraging the foraging and food-sharing habits of worker ants, the poison is disseminated throughout the colony ultimately reaching the queen and disrupting the reproductive cycle. The choice of toxicant, formulation of the bait, and strategic placement are all critical factors that determine the success of ant control efforts. Understanding the biology and behavior of ants, as well as the potential for resistance and environmental impacts, is essential for the effective and responsible use of ant poison. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.